guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can probably tell by my face, I'm only half done, which is fine. I thought I would film for you a little makeup look, but I literally have no idea what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna dive right in, I'm gonna show you what I've already put on my face, and then eh, we'll see where the day takes us. So to start with, I used my MAC Face and Body Foundation. I stand by this stuff and I love this stuff. If you haven't tried it, you need to go and try it. For concealers today, I use two. I always use two. I use my Rimmel Wake Me Up in, I believe it's their lightest shade, and I use the collection's Last Imperfection in the lightest shade they do. They are fantastic. This is for under my eyes. That's for just anywhere my foundation doesn't want to stick to because I've got manky skin. To set it all in place, I have used my Rimmel. Disgusting. Nearly empty. You need to go buy a new one. Oops. Um, stay mats, it lasts for about five hours, but I just, I swear by this stuff, so I've set my makeup in place with that. For brows, obviously I've had them microbladed, so I wanted to fill them in slightly to make them a bit darker, because the idea is they look natural when they're not on, and today I've literally dug out, this is so old, I'm sorry, I don't, I would not, oh, I would not be surprised if this is not off. I dug out my old MAC palette. I bought a little palette of six pans so that I could just literally have all of my brow products in. And I'm using this shade here. Unfortunately though, I couldn't say what it is. It's just a dark brown. And then to define the line a little bit more, I use this. I got this in my Birch box. It's the Merch, I think that's how you say it, Merch and Mia brow liner in the shade 021. It is brilliant. I mean, my brows are pretty damn good, and they took me to about three minutes, whereas usually they take me about 15. So, oh my god, I love my brows. Sorry, okay, I'm gonna calm down. You're gonna hear this a lot, I can guarantee you. So, for a little bit of bronze, because it was sunny earlier, it's no longer sunny, I um, got out my Tanya Burr Peachy Glow Cheek Palette. Now, I love this, however, I bought this for the blush and i don't even use the blush i'm going to show you don't judge it's disgusting <clears throat> the highlight gone and this is all that's left and it's just yeah but i mean okay okay and for cheats i did put on a little bit of blush and i've gone back to an old favorite which is this this is my Too faced sweethearts perfect flush blush in the shade peach beach Too faced stop using the stupid names like that because i can never say them and yeah so yeah i am using that today i absolutely love this it is super super pretty and i just i keep going back to it i keep going back to it on to the eyeballs today we're going to use this palette i dug this one out i fancied it i don't know why it's absolutely beautiful if you have not tried it <gasps> where have you been I'm going to attempt to use my viewfinder a lot to get ready with this look. And we are going to start today with the shade Divanity. And we're just going to take a big brush and we're just going to literally blend out the eyelids. So make sure there's no creases, no nothing. Just going to run it underneath. Because I find then that any concealer that's kind of left a little crease is gone. I'm going to take this shade here with my MAC 217 brush. I'm going to take, it's called Cashew Chew. And I'm literally going to take whatever I can get left and we're just going to pop this into the crease area. Just to help blend everything out. Perfect. I'm next going to take this base shadow brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to take this shade here in the bottom corner, Arm and Truffle. I love this as a base. I just love it. So we're going to run this all over the lids. And right up to that crease line. Oh, this looks so I was like, I need to get ready. And I was like, what should I do? I know, I'll film it. I'm going to take the same shade and a nice flat brush. And I'm just going to run this underneath my eye line. I love eyeshadow that runs underneath. Perfect. I'm then going to take a fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to take this shade here, Mocha. I'm going to dab it and pat it and start in the middle. And I'm just going to blend. Beautiful. And then I'm going to go back to my 217 brush. Make sure I'm actually focused in. And I'm just going to blend this bad boy out. I 
I'm then going to stick with my small blending brush. This actually is um, an eco tool and it's from my birch box. And I've got to say, I freaking love it. We're going to take the shade Dark Truffle. It's in the bottom corner. And I'm going to swirl my brush around in it, get a nice good coat. And then we'll tap it off. And we're going to just slightly flick this back corner and take it up through into the crease. And then I'm going to do the same again, just to darken. I like, I'm liking, I'm liking where this look is going. So I feel like I need a little bit of sparkle. So I'm going to take this Cafe Oulit, or that's what I'm going to call it. That's what I'm <laughs> they said that's just what I'm going to call it because I will probably butcher it. I'm going to go back to my Real Techniques base shadow brush. And all I'm going to do is literally just dab, tap. I'm just going to run it through the middle of my eye. Just to give it a pop of something else. I love it. Sometimes looks can be so simple and just so pretty. I really, really wanted to put some Earl. Do you know what? Right. I'm going to take a teeny tiny brush. I'm gonna take this, oh, should I take, ooh, what should we do? Should we do the purple or should we do the Earl Grey? We're gonna take the Earl Grey. I want the Earl Grey. Okay, I'm going to run my brush through, fill it up, tap just to remove any excess, and I'm gonna to attempt to get this on camera. I want to, I'll do this eye, just do underneath my waterline. Oh, don't you look weird when you do things like that. I'm then going to take, where is it? My Naked 3 brush. I'm going to take the small end. I'm going to run it through satin sheets. That's this beautiful highlight here. And I'm just going to give my brow bone a little bit something something. And then take the other end. Like buff it. Oh, maybe not buff it out with a dirty brush. <laughs> Try a game. I am going to add some more highlight onto my brow bone. But that's with the highlighting palette. Okay. Eyeliner time. Now today I'm using my Maybelline and it is in the shade Black Gold. The only reason why it's in that is I'm not going to lie to you guys. I am running out of eyeliner. I need to go get um, on payday a liquid liner. But I want to try some different ones. Some people have recommended the... Um, is it the NYX or NYX or something? Do you know what? Considering how much I love makeup, I am rubbish at names. I'm going to absolutely load my brush up and wipe it off. And then this is where I struggle to get this on camera because I am useless. And by the way, okay, so this is my plan. I used to spend like 60 pounds a month paying my laptop off and it's done. So I am really good at the minute. I saved that 60 pounds a month and I try to do something with it. So I have saved and I got my brows done, which are the best things I've ever done. They're not like, I can't walk out the house and they're like perfect. But you know, when I wake up in the morning and I've still got brows on my face, oh my God, it's such a freaking good feeling, I tell you. <laughs> not done eyebrows since I was 13 and I'm so happy about it. So I want to get one of these drawers. I've got one. A little small one and I love these dividers from Ikea to separate all my makeup well I want one people do them you can buy them off Etsy for the smaller Ikea drawers but I didn't want drawers I wanted a wardrobe and I'm going to make my own divider and find somewhere that will do it in acrylic for me so I can stand all of my blushes all of my powders up because I've got far too many and they're taking over and I'm struggling to get them all in there so I thought I could have all my eyeshadow palettes in there and then yeah that's my next mission. Oh, and then I'm getting a ring light. Eee, at last, at last, I can finally say it. <gasps> There'll be an unboxing, I'm sure. Right, shut up and do this eyeliner. Okay, so this is my routine at the minute of what I've been doing. So I've been doing that, just kind of like the outline. And then, I've 
been stopping and I've been going back to an old favourite and when I say an old favourite I mean it's ridiculously old. This teeny tiny thing used to be an Urban Decay. <laughs> But it's that small, I can't actually sharpen it very pointy at the minute, so I can't do that. And I'm just going to fill in and go over the lines. I freaking love that. I can't believe I ever stopped using it. Well, obviously I didn't, because <laughs> it's nearly gone. Um, but yes, so, cotton... Now then, for mascara. So I'm currently loving two things. I'm loving this Benefits, uh, the real. This is the Tinted Primer. It's just brown and I love it. Let them dry, let them dry, let them dry. I keep looking at my eyebrows, is that bad? I freaking love them. <laughs> then I'm going to take my current freaking favourite, my roller lash. I mean, really Jeffrey, Really. Thanks a lot. Next, I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills highlighting palette. And I'm going to take this beautiful shade in the middle. This is called Forever Young. I'm just going to take a fan brush. And when I do it, I get quite a bit of fallout. So I like to always run my brush through the fallout because, well, we're not wasting. Like, oh, words can't describe how beautiful this stuff is. That looks pretty awesome. For lips today, we're using some Jeffree Star. Still love this colour, I actually think I need to order another one. It's that God, it's called or is matters. I mean, just how pretty, just how pretty. And of course, we're gonna have to finish with some Urban Decay all nighter setting spray did you hear my candle pop there <laughs> okay oh, i smell so freaking good i love it and that is the finished look yay i'm so happy with how that turned out oh i need a drink Yes, I've just been KFC. I've just dropped my daughter off, nipped out, nipped to the shop, got some KFC, come back, I've eaten my lunch, my wrap. I had a barbecue wrap just in case she was interested. So yes, this is the finished look. I hope you guys have enjoyed this like chit chat, get ready with me, just an everyday because that's what I wanted to do today. I'd like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you've made it this far, a button's going to appear here very soon. Hit it. It's the subscribe button if you haven't already. Click here. There'll be one of my latest videos. And click here if you want to see another video that YouTube has selected for you. So I'd like to thank you for watching. Take care. I'll see you in a few days with another video. And bye-bye.